Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with your precision forecast. So we had a few scattered showers around the Treasure Valley, southwest central Idaho today. Tomorrow, I think there's less of a threat for this area right here. Canyon County, Ada County, and Gem County, generally southwest Idaho. The higher elevations, a better chance for showers. Right now, it is dry in Boise, Abbott, Caldwell, Nampa, a couple sprinkles. Notice a little further to the west and west of Caldwell, some sprinkles, and a little bit more of an organized rain shower showing up here to the west and eastern sections of, uh, of uh, Oregon. As this moves to the north, it's tending to melt away. So we may see a subsiding of the precipitation, but computer charts are showing around midnight tonight a chance for that last wave of energy to come through for the night anyway. We should be in pretty good shape. But in the meantime, there's that one shower eastern Oregon. There's some light showers from Homedale stretching northward to not far from Parma as well. Light showers also move to the north and weekend. Mountain home. Some rain showers and even on the higher elevation, some snow showers. There's been some hail mixed in, as we mentioned, some isolated hail popping up around the uh, airport today. Uh, the Boise Airport. But right now, that shower passing uh, around Mountain Home Air Force Base. A good shower going on right now. 51 in Boise, only 35 in McCall. And you look at this band of clouds, especially down to the south here. This is what could still enhance and intensify and bring some showers through overnight tonight. But I think when you wake up tomorrow morning, it's going to be a pretty decent start to the day. Our winds are fairly light right now out of the north and west. That'll continue only nine miles an hour in Twin and in Boise. And tomorrow will be a day like today where we have light winds and I think a decent amount of sunshine. This area of clouds right here will pass to the north tonight. You see this little small clearing sky right here. This is going to expand because all the cloud cover to the west here is going to move to the north and that'll open open up this hole of clearing and that'll bring some sunshine in during the day tomorrow. I think we'll have a lot of it. Now this is the Treasure Valley that I'm talking about when I say us, but for you folks and all of us that are living in the Magic Valley, that's a good chance of some showers at the jet stream nearby. Some of that moisture is going to pinwheel up and I think the East Central Mountains, Stanley Sun Valley, uh, Fairfield, the Cameras Prairie and the Magic Valley, good chance for showers and storms developing as the day progresses. But this moisture should stay to the west, rotating around our big storm system here. Heavy snow headed into the Sierra up to a couple of feet of snow know over the next several days. So good news for the late season skiing there. Here's our midnight future cast showing another wave of energy, maybe bringing some more rain and snow showers in. But I'll push this ahead to tomorrow morning. And here's 5, 6 a.m. Now we're getting snow showers up in the West Central Mountains. So there's a possibility during the early morning hours. But look at Southern Idaho clearing on out. That's the morning. Here's the afternoon. I still think a lot of sunshine while showers and storms could push from Twin Falls up to Ketchum and Stanley. So tomorrow, I think it's really going to turn out bottom line to be a nice day, despite the fact that it's some of the higher elevations, we'll see some showers uh, pushing around from uh, uh, from time to time from south to north. So this dry wedge, I think, will be more over the Treasure Valley with only popcorn-type showers developing mostly east of the Treasure Valley. By the weekend, a lot of sunshine across the west. I think we're going to get a good amount of sunshine over the weekend in the Treasure Valley. But on Saturday, the wind will probably be blowing. More on that coming up. Light winds tomorrow, sunshine with a few clouds run. I think it's going to be a decent day near 60. That's where it's supposed to be this time of year. 58 in Mountain Home in the West Central Mountains. If you're heading up into the Boise Mountains, for instance, Garden Valley tomorrow, you're back on the map here. I uh, had this off for a few days, but I got the graphics fixed here for you. Now you can get a lot of, lot of emails, emails from Garden Valley. So 56 degrees in Garden Valley, a nice day tomorrow, slight chance for a shower coming in. And I think in the morning we have a chance for showers from Garden Valley northward, then we get the clearing. 43 in Stanley, 45 in Sun Valley, a mixture of rain and snow showers. Could be some accumulation in the mountaintops as well. 55 degrees with a few scattered showers developing later in the day in the Magic Valley, 51 inches shown by precision extended forecast here again is the weekend forecast much like the next couple days I think near 60 but here's the problem on Saturday the wind will likely kick up during the day on Saturday and a nice day on Sunday because of the lighter wind and a decent amount of sunshine near 62 now stay tuned to this forecast there's a lot of cloud cover nearby it doesn't show much here, and I don't think the valley will get much, but the mountains will have a chance for showers. We're kind of entering that spring-type weather pattern where you can get a little bit of everything, but it's kind of a, a ho-hum forecast, nothing too extreme on either side, which is okay. It's fine, especially yeah. if we get a really decent day without wind for the weekend. And I think we should get that on Sunday. Plenty of sunshine, too. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Scott. You bet.